Hello everybody. Today we are going to be looking at Jupiter. So in your Edmodo, find the post that says Jupiter. We have the link for the reading. We have my email that you can send your assignments to, and we have the practice questions. So let's take a look at this. So um, Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system and it is actually named for the king of the gods in Roman mythology. Um, the Greeks named the planet Zeus, but um, we actually call the planet Jupiter. So Jupiter is much bigger than Earth, um, and it reflects a lot of sunlight being so large. And when we can see it, it's going to be the brightest object in the night sky besides the moon and Venus. All right. Jupiter is far from Earth and more than five times as far from Earth as the sun. All right. Jupiter's orbit is 12 Earth years. So its orbital period is 12 Earth years. So it takes 12 years to orbit the sun once. All right, Jupiter is a gas giant, so there's no real solid surface that we know of. It's made of mostly hydrogen and some helium. Um, the outer layers of the planet are going to be gas. Deeper within the planet, the pressure is going to condense the gases into liquid, and they think that maybe there is a small rocky core at the center of the planet. So Jupiter, Jupiter's atmosphere um, has clouds of ammonia and those clouds rotate, all right? The clouds rotate in tremendous storms. So the great red spot, this right here, um, is Jupiter's most noticeable feature. It is really just a giant storm, all right? And it's a very big storm because it's three times as wide as Earth, all right? Moons and rings. So Jupiter has lots of moons. Um, as of 2012, they have discovered 66, actually over 66 natural satellites. Um, four are big enough and bright enough to be seen from Earth using a pair of binoculars. So they're pretty big. Um, these four moons were first discovered in 1610 by Galileo. So they are called the Galilean moons. All right. So there's Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. So these moons are larger than even the biggest dwarf planets, Pluto and Eris. Um, Ganymede is the biggest moon in the solar system. It's even larger than Mercury. All right. Um, scientists think Europa is a good place to look for extraterrestrial life. It is the smallest of the Galilean moons. Its layer, its surface is a smooth layer of ice. And they think that this ice may be on top of a, an ocean of liquid water. All right. Um, and they explain this. Sure, it's far from the sun, but it's heated by Jupiter. And Jupiter's tidal forces somehow produce enough heat for there to be liquid water on the planet. So that's that's just the explanation. Um, many missions have been planned to explore Europa, um, but they haven't um, done any of those. They haven't followed through with any of those missions. All right. Um, Jupiter has a ring system. And then um, we sent two spacecrafts to Jupiter in 1979. Um, and then future missions to Jupiter, this must have been written a while ago because it talks about Juno, which will arrive in late 2016. And of course, 2016's already happened. So hopefully that makes sense. Make sure you finish your questions and turn them into me.